God said, I'm taking you to a land flowing with milk and honey, and it was open and available to all, yet only Caleb and Joshua from the first generation walked through. It was available to all of them, though. And that's what I'm trying to encourage you with today. God's purpose and plan for your life, it's available to you. You can have what he says you were meant to have. You can do what he says you are meant to do. You can be who he says you are. But you have got to put your hope, your belief in his living word, in that promise that he has spoken to your life. And I'm talking like, let's back up to salvation real quick. You can be forgiven. You just got to believe that you are forgiven. Not because you are good, not because you are um, a stand-up citizen, but because God says he forgives you because of what Jesus did on the cross. Because if you will humble yourself and put your belief in what the word of God, Jesus, has done for you, you will be saved. If you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. Because it's all on what he has done, not on what you have done. He took what you have done, and he has given you what he has done. He traded places. And now you are seen as the righteousness of God, washed whiter than snow, for a purpose. And it's not just to skim by and get to heaven, it's to make an impact while you're here on earth. Because this is the vineyard, and this vineyard's dark. And it's time we start shedding some light in it. So you embrace them trials, you embrace them tribulations, because the hotter that fire, the more you're going to glow. And as you start glowing, people are going to start noticing. And you give all glory back to your God. How'd you get here? God got me here. How'd you get to this place? God did it. I believe my Savior. He whispered a promise and showed faithful to it. You turn it all back to Him, because it's to Him who all glory is due. If you need Him today, this is your first step out. But trust me, my man, he is not just saving you from your sins. He's saving you for your promise. And he's got one for each and every one of us. You ain't here by accident. He's got purpose and plan for you. More than that, he's got need of you. He don't want to have to go search in another place. You have been intimately made for the exact reason he has you here. And he don't want to replace you with another. He wants you to do it because you are his chosen son, because you are his daughter whom he loves. And he don't want to see another take your place. So I challenge you. I dare you. <laughs> I encourage you. Rise up a man or a woman of faith and go out like it. Determine I don't care what the cost. I'm going to stand with this God of mine. And I pray we meet as such on that battlefield and let's win some wars let's go out as conquerors let's come back to heaven not with armor that is shining and glittering but used been hit a couple times but has made it through the fight has gained the ground that he has asked us to gain and we have seen the faithfulness of our god carry us through the front